Hello. We're back now with our week-long series of reports on the home front. Tonight, we honor the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice. Please remember, more than 2,700 American soldiers have now died in the war in Iraq, but some have only had a handful of people come to say their final farewells. A group of very patriotic Americans, who also happen to be motorcyclists, think that is wrong. They're doing their part now to make sure every fallen soldier gets a proper goodbye. Our report on the home front tonight from NBC News correspondent Mike Taibbi. The funeral of Marine Nick White of Brooklyn. His family in agony. More than 40 other mourners shared the family's grief and provided a motorcycle escort for the funeral procession. Mourners like veteran Bill Connolly, who didn't know Nick White in life, but who, with the family's permission, chose to be here. I didn't know the soldier, but I'm a Marine my brother that died there today. They are the Patriot Guard Riders, perhaps 40,000 nationwide, organized originally to shield grieving families from a fringe church group that was picketing soldiers' funerals to promote the group's extremist views. We're here for Airmen First Class, Carl, Jerome. But now, they Where simply support those soldiers and the loved ones they leave behind. They're mostly blue collar and mostly veterans. Some Vietnam War vets who, in this sympathetic role, have found a way to finally talk about their own unpopular war. To bring it out and pour out a lot of emotion that has been deep inside for a long time. Other writers like George Meyer aren't veterans but are parents of soldiers. And they say the funerals connect them to the gallantry and fearfulness of their own children's service. It's important for you to try, try to understand as best you can what they're experiencing. They can't always tell you. And Carlos Gonzalez joined because after his son was killed in Iraq, instead of a funeral for a tiny handful of mourners, there was a hero's goodbye. That's the simple theme. I know you understood the sacrifice. Nick White's father, Andre. You know, I tried to tell you thank you as I was passing through all the flags you guys were holding up. I hope you saw me. That in this war, when only the friends and family of those who serve have to care about it, the family is bigger. They'll remember this soldier's name forever. Because these volunteer mourners make it so. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, New York. And moving on now as we must. Still ahead after a